What up, y'all? Happy morning, it's your boy Top Rope. I'm out here looking like Drake. You know what I'm saying? I had to look at it, I was like, man, I'm out here looking real weird. What's up? What up? Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Come get a look at his hairline, you know? I know you heard about it. I know you've been dreaming about it. Hey, girl, you know, Zeus got his hair back. You bullshitting. Hell yeah, girl. You gotta look at the Instagram. <laughs> My signature fade with the devil blade. That's a major key. Listen, y'all gotta call me. Like we got, I'm, I'm not even Zeus no more, man. I gotta come up with an alter ego name because y'all, a lot of y'all didn't know me in my prime. You know what I'm saying? When I was out here high fading it up. You know what I'm saying? Looking clean on them. They don't want you to be great. They don't want you to have a hair live. <laughs> Yo, you cannot give me hair <laughs> and expect me to take <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie though, this joint look good. This joint look good, you know? You know I, I'm out here just in regular life. Niggas like, oh Zeus, you doing a video? Nah, I ain't doing a video. I'm just out here. What's up? Who gonna check me? Not your ass. We live in a world, man. You can't just do stuff. I like just doing stuff. But look, anyway, never mind this gorgeous, beautiful hair that I have that you guys are going to be distracted about. Never mind that. So look, I called in this morning. I want to talk to you about the whole Kevin Hart thing and the Oscars, right? Okay, so if you don't know what's going on, I'll give you just my personal opinion about it. And once again, it's my personal opinion. Feel free to DM me whatever you want. But uh, I said what I said, and that's the way it is. Everybody clear on that? All right, first off, um, the Oscars now is having a problem finding a host for the Oscars, um, and I'm very glad about that. And Kevin, they said that in a statement, they said um, they thought Kevin Hart, um, they're disappointed, they thought Kevin Hart was just gonna, you know, go with the flow and take the punches and apologize and all this other stuff, and so they can continue to host. Now, my thought to that is, why the fuck would Kevin Hart apologize for some shit that he said, what, five, ten years ago, eight years ago, whatever, and that he's already apologized for multiple times? Now, mind you, um, he said some homophobic tweets from back in the day that was pretty bad, um, referring to, you know, gay people, you know, things that would really offend um, the LGBTQ community. I, I hope I'm saying that right if I'm not, you know, educating, you know. I like to call it the LMNOP community, you know, for my man Carlos Miller. Shout out to the uh, 85 South Show. Um, but yeah, like, and my thing is this, I'm glad that Kevin apologized to the LGBT community because um, if he offended them, then yeah, you should definitely apologize. I mean, they're human beings and they deserve rights like any and everybody else. I'm the type of person that, you know, with the whole Kevin Hart situation, I can understand what he did and I'm really glad that he did it because for young entertainers like myself, we're always gonna be tested at certain points in our career where they are gonna say, hey, you know, do some bullshit. So anyway, the Oscars have a problem finding a replacement for Kevin. I'm very glad about that. I think it's corny that when it comes to a black man doing something on a big white stage like that, that the Oscars is predominantly has been white in the past years. I mean, of course you have Chris Rock and all those other hosts, but come on now. Um, but why they digging all into his past? And then the LGBTQ community is like, hey, listen, y'all, like, y'all gotta understand that I understand that y'all have rights and y'all been discriminated against and y'all want equality, and I'm a supporter of that. A hundred percent a supporter. But let's be real clear. In the LGBT community, it's people that are super nice, super, if you don't understand it, they'll break it down for you, they'll explain it to you. And then you have some who are just assholes. It's like, oh, you don't understand it, so fuck you, you're against us. It's like, nah, you have to educate people because this is very fairly new. I didn't grow up around LGBTQ you know, community members and gay people and all that, I didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? So you have to educate me because I'm one of the people that want to know, I love people. But you ain't gonna be a dickhead because I don't care if you're gay or straight or whatever, manners is fucking free. So I felt like, I said, I feel like sometimes, you know, people jump on people so quick just to, because people want to be offended, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm glad that, like I said, Kevin apologized to the LGBT community if he did offend them, because I'm a type of person, if I offended you and I didn't mean to, and you took it a bad way, I have no problem apologizing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not gonna apologize for what I said, but I'm gonna apologize if you were offended by what I said because I care about people. But we gotta stop re rewarding people who troll. You know what I'm saying? People who say, oh, Zeus said this, so he meant this. Oh, Zeus is a basher. So I'm supposed to respond to that? Kevin's supposed to respond to that? Come on, man, we gotta stop rewarding people for being stupid, you know? So anyway, man, I'm very glad Kevin Hart stood his ground. I want y'all to DM me and tell me what you think about this situation. Should've Kevin had stayed, 
and you know whatever or you know did he do the right thing um is the oscars whack i'm not a watch i'm not watching the oscars this year because i just feel like it, it's just corny it's always a boring ass show but i just have no interest in it i have no interest in being a part of people who are not in tune with my culture you know what i'm saying so anyway i love y'all I just wanted to spread a little my knowledge on that. Shout out to the LGBTQ community. Shout out to the gay community. Shout out to the straight community. You know, shout out to everybody who has a soul and a heartbeat. We are more alike than we are different. So let's stop trying to like, you know, divide ourselves between sexual orientation, our color, our money or whatever, and just be fucking human beings and be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? Be nice to people because it's nice to be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, I'm out. Live your dreams, not your reality. Buy some merch. I got a kid. Uh, she needs diapers. Love y'all. Peace.